Hi all, Cara from Innocent Charms Chats. You have to excuse the really boring background and dreadfully filmed video. Um, sorry, moving camera. But my camera, well sorry, no, I was going to film it on my um, laptop, Apple laptop. But for some other reason it hasn't done any updates recently. So now my iMovie doesn't work with my OS X or something. So anyway, irrelevant. I'm doing it on my phone now, rested on my laptop, not very clever, but I wanted to get this done because I've been trying to do it for ages and with three kids it's not possible. A homeware haul, because if some of you might know, if you've watched my home tour video, which I'll link below, um, we moved home, when did we move house? January or February, I can't even remember, February I think, um, so we've been here a while yet, but we haven't, we've done really nothing, but I'm just starting to buy stuff. Because we've had no car for the last 10 weeks, we still haven't. But we finally got a van and got up to Ikea. So this home we're is part Ikea, part Tiger, and a very one little thing from Asda. Um, and so we got up to Ikea and we got all new bedroom furniture for Grayson. He's got the Stover, if that's how you pronounce it, um, bedroom furniture, which is his first ever bedroom furniture at six. Um, and we bought the very popular Ikea kitchen for the other two downstairs. And then these were the little bits I bought. Not as much as I would have liked to have bought, but there's going to be some more homeware hauls over the next few months because I'm going to start buying. So ignore all this and let's get on with what I bought. So first I think I will show you what I bought from Asda because this is super cute. Um, my kitchen is really sort of like a... It's not really got a theme, but it's kind of like 50s, bright colours, neons, pastels... Um, sort of geometrics, um, it's got some kitsch retro sort of 60s feel to it, it's really, so I saw this in Asda because I'm a bit funny about washing my hands, I have hand wash everywhere, so I wanted a hand wash dispenser for the kitchen and I saw this and this was like, this has to be my kitchen and so can you see it, isn't that cute, it's a 50s sort of pin up which I am obsessed with pin ups, um, I want to have one tattooed and this was a steal at five pounds from Asda, and I believe I should show you again. <laughs> they do um, bedding, towels, bathroom, like all the bathroom stuff to go with it. But that's going in my kitchen. Shall we do Tiger next? So I went into Tiger this week. I love Tiger, um, and I actually didn't go with the intention of buying homewares, but I literally only bought three things, oh, four things, four things, and I love all of it. So this is my first thing. It's like, it's all geometric shapes, can you see? Like triangles and stuff like that, which I love geometric. And it's neon pink. Addy actually chose the colour. I don't know if you can see how neon it is. Yeah, it's got a couple of chips in it already though, because the kids got hold of it. So the only thing I will say is it does chip easy if you go and buy it. Um, they did it in this pink. I think it was yellow, turquoise, and I feel like it was a fourth colour, but don't quote me to that. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I literally saw it and I went to Addy because it was £3. And I just went, Addy, should mummy get that? And she went, I love the pink. So I let her choose the pink. My husband was like, what are you going to use it for? And I said, I'm not really sure. But I had to have it. So maybe a fruit bowl. I don't know. But that was my first thing. My second thing was this. Can you see the cute little flowers? Aren't they gorgeous? It's a real 60s feel to it. This was... I think this was two or three, I think this was two. They did it in three sizes, sort of like a half size and then slightly bigger again. It's sealed lid and I'm going to use this for my sugar because I don't have a sugar holder at the moment. I have two teas but not a sugar. So I'm going to use this for the sugar and I think that would look super cute. It's glass so I think that was an absolute bargain. Tiger's always a bargain. I also got this. Can you see? Like an old 60s atomic, atomic? Is that what you say? I think it is. Um, coat rack. So that's going to go up on the wall in our hallway. Our hallway doesn't really have a like... I'm not, I'm not one for things. I really like eclectic. So it doesn't really have a sort of feel to it. It's just... Because um, all the walls in our house are either pale white or pale grey because we rent. And it's it's really nice, generous hallway. But we have, So we have a huge G-plan unit in there. When I do a proper home tour of where we furniture, you'll see. We have a huge G-plan unit in there which holds all different things. Um, like all our books, kids' shoes, all the kids' craft stuff. Um, and then we have like we have a lot of pictures of the children up like in our hallway. But we also have 
sort of just bright i'll show you there's one thing i bought for ikea in as well so i just have sort of because it goes into the kitchen i just wanted really bright things to brighten up the room so hence that i love the i love this feel this is this is really me and the kids have a coat stand from ikea which is very similar so that's going to go up and um i'll show you the other thing for the haul in a minute and then the last thing i got from tiger were can you see those very well there we go they are some cute little drawer pulls or handles whatever you want to call them because we have just done painting two sets of drawers for up here in our bedroom um one is in annie sloan one is barcelona orange the other is the red and i can't remember the name of it and they've got three drawers each so six drawer handles and i am literally going mix match on all of them so i'm in the process of looking for drawer handles our bedroom's got a kind of like um kind of 70s retro feel going to it because up on this wall behind me here we've got some wall pop stickers going which are just gorgeous jonathan adler i'll put a link below so you can see they're not up yet because we're just we've had poorly kids um so anyway so i'm on the hunt for drawer handles so obviously now i've got two so i need another 10 um so I'm desperately, and this room's having copper accents. So if you've seen any really nice copper handles or anything, please do leave me a comment below. So that was Tiger. So then my last shop is Ikea. So where are we going to start? Let's start with what we bought for the hallway. So I just said to you about something. I wanted a mirror in the hallway and I saw this in a magazine. I can't remember which one. I don't know if I'm going to get it all in the picture. Can you see that? Oh, no, don't show you my messy bedroom. <laughs> Then I'm showing you my messy bedroom. Okay, so it's a big IKEA mirror. It's huge actually. I wasn't expecting it to be that big when I'd seen it in the magazine. And it's like a really bright yellow. And um, I really like it actually. It's really heavy, really good quality. I think it was £15. And they did it in I think three or four colours. I was really surprised. I can't remember what. Um, let me see if I can remember, see the name for your. I cannot pronounce IKEA names. I don't know about you lot. No. But I'll spell it L-A-N-G-E-S-U-N-D. And it's huge. And it's going to look so good next to that coat rack in our hallway. And just brighten up the room. But it also gives you something, you know, when you just walk out the door and you want to check your hair and your lippy and everything. So that's really cool. Okay, from Ikea, I also bought this bed linen. Can you see this? But our bedroom i had no idea what i wanted bedroom linen wise for our bedroom and i don't know if this is really what i wanted i think i wanted something really sort of retro patterned but i know we've got a really tight budget at the moment because the whole house needs doing so this was a steal this was 22 pounds and that may sound a lot but that is because we have a super king bed um which is horrible as you can see but we can't afford to replace it and it's got some really cute colours in it. It's got like um, greens, the pink, the orange. And I th and hu the hubby really liked it. So he doesn't often get to choose anything for our house. So that's why I did kind of, he sort of picked it and said I'm getting it. But I love that it's kind of got like a really retro check feel to it. So I think it's going to really work in our bedroom. And I like that it's white because we've got white bed linen on at the moment, which is really old and dated. But it because we're going to have the bright furniture either side and all those bright wall stickers up on that wall I think it would be quite clean and fresh and feel nice and to go with it we also got a sheet I honestly cannot recommend sorry the light keeps going funny I cannot recommend Ikea's bed linen enough we literally have had Ikea bed linen in our bed now for the last it's got to be six years I reckon and it washes really well it's a bargain it fits perfectly the sheets don't shrink because i don't know about you lot but i use a fitted sheet and they, they always shrink the kids ones keep shrinking i need to replace theirs with ikea and for 25 pounds like for, for the last couple of years we've had three sets in our bed so i can keep rotating because i like rotating we only have one at the moment but i will get another one and this was nine pounds for a super king sheet steel go anywhere even like tesco's or anything you're going to pay more than that so i totally recommend that okay next from ikea we got this which you might have seen if you follow me on instagram if not innocent charms chats have a look super cute it's clouds for my kitchen um and basically it's just a napkin holder and this was i'm sure it was two pounds it was or four pounds it was something really cheap and we just loved it we needed a new napkin holder the only thing that 
wearing about was we usually have really big napkins from Ikea because I buy all my napkins from Ikea. But we bought little matching, and I haven't brought them up, little square napkins to go inside them. So they're literally the size of this. And they're perfect. They're really big. And you get 100 for like pound fifty bargain. So we always buy sort of five or six packs when we're up there. Because all the kids, me and my kids are a bit funny about food on our face. So that's really cute. And one of my friends on Instagram, and I can't remember her name, so I'll link her below so you can see. She bought these for her daughter, for her bedroom. And she has put command strips on the back and stuck them up on the wall as little shelves for like books and her iPhone and stuff by her bed. And I thought that was a super cute IKEA hack. So well worth looking at. Okay, next we have this tree. How cute is this? It's melamine. And I'm a bit funny, I, in my kitchen, have trays everywhere. No lies, I have, must have, I don't know, like 10 or 12 trays. And I have them for my coffee, tea and sugar to sit on. And I always love one in the middle of the kitchen table to put things like your napkin holder on. And um, sometimes I have cutlery in a cup on there. Um, what else do I have? Salt, salt and pepper shakers. I just think it looks really cute and I like the feel. And we needed a new one for our table because we're actually going to buy a new IKEA dining room table because we want a bigger one now that the family's grown. And I saw a couple that were really retro and cute. But we, I saw this one I thought the colours were really sweet. It was £5 on sale. And Mr Innocent Charmer really liked it. He, he really liked a lot of things this time. So he got his way quite a lot. So he chose this. And it's really cute. And Addy loves it because my kids love animals. So that worked really well. And it's just so durable. Okay. Next we got these lampshades and you're not going to be able to appreciate how awesome these lampshades are so look at the name please 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 i'm going to put a link below head to the ikea web website and see how awesome these are i'll be honest even the picture doesn't do them justice when i saw them in ikea i was just oh, sad i know but i love home interiors okay so this is what they are can you see that okay they look doesn't really still do it justice can you see? no you're not going to be able to see it. I'm going to lift you up so you can see right they have cutouts in can you see here this is the red one it's more like a maroon and this is the turquoise one and you can probably just see a glimpse through the turquoise they basically they're like kind of like a fabric and they're cylindrical cylindrical <laughs> who knows and on the inside they are copper sheeted inlaid if you don't know, I am a little bit copper obsessed. Hello, let me show you something. Sorry, going off camera. Really bad vlogging. Copper! I have loved copper now for about three years, maybe longer. I've loved copper for ages, but in homewares in particular. Um, and I have been putting copper in my home now for that long. I literally am obsessed. And because I love um, G... G, like sort of G plan retro furniture which I have like five or six pieces in our house now um, it, it just looks beautiful with G plan furniture beautiful and we have G plan dressing table in here and we have um, like some wooden units and stuff and it just oh, honestly there is so much copper I want at the moment and so much geometric copper and I'm having to be such a good girl because our rents doubled from our old house so my money is really small but so I'm doing things myself I've got a couple of things coming which I might vlog so I'm going to do some like copper um, using copper spray paints and stuff on my own um, but these are just got sorry back to the lights yeah, it's a long video sorry um, it's all like copper inlaid with sheet and it honestly looks beautiful so, you know, if you go to Ikea do look at them because they're stunning this is the real small size so these were £15 each which honestly I think for a lampshade is really really bloody good if I'm honest um the bigger ones which are awesome like huge they were something like 25 maybe even 30 which i still think is really good but the effect is going to look gorgeous and so the red one is going to go on our barcelona orange cabinet and the turquoise or teal is going to go on the red one which i still can't remember the name that's really bugging me um the red one the red the red annie sloan is really much very similar to this color and i'm going to buy two sort of vintagey lamp bases i might spray paint them depending what i get or i might if we have wood just leave them as wood i'm watching some on ebay at the moment good old ebay but they're going for a lot of money lamp bases are really really 
silly prices and we have ikea ones at the moment which i don't even want to show you because my dressing table is really messy um which were really expensive which i could spray paint but i i don't really like them so i don't really want to so that leaves one last thing i'm sure i bought more than that from ikea but i can't find it if i did the hubby sort of tidies up he's really annoying don't ever meet up don't get me wrong it's really good because he tidies but he tidies things so i can't find them so anyway, my last thing, this actually, and this actually is going to show one more homer thing that I didn't mention to you. So I will put the link for this below. But so we bought this red. Can you see the red? It's a really funny red, actually. No, you can't really see it very well. It's like an orangey red. A bit like a post box red, a kind of, but ribber frame, which IKEA frames can't go wrong. I think this was £4. Mm, something like that. And it's for my little girl's room, Addison, or she shares with her brother. And they're having, it's, they're not really having any, it's just colours and anything they like in their room. She bought a cute little fox print the other day as well, which I should find, she showed you. But this print is from my friend Shantu. Okay, she is called on Etsy, Geek is New Chic, I think, but I'll leave a link below. Basically, Shan, she's a genius, but she hand drew this print. Can you see it? How gorgeous is this? It's a bun geometric bunny doodle. Isn't it awesome? She does everything you can imagine. Hello Kitty. Um, she's done a VW camper van. Oh, what else have you done, Sean? Horses. Zeb oh, the zebra is super cute. There's another bunny. Every animal. And she's taking requests. So do go and take a look. She's brand new venture. Basically, she drew me a picture for my downstairs, which is on my blog at the moment, so go have a look, which is Renee Macintosh Roses, because I'm obsessed with Renee Macintosh. And um, I kept saying to her, oh, you're, so, you're really talented, you should do this, like, for, a, uh, like, an odd job, but, you know, just, like, as a little side extra. Because she really enjoys doing it. And I'm, I'm obviously an artist and myself, I love making things. And after much badgering she's actually gone and done it and she's doing really well and i really want her to make a success of it because she really enjoys doing it so do go take a look at geek is new chic and you will see these gorgeous prints this was i want to say 15 pounds but i may be wrong but i think that's really good for a hand piece of art and how cute is this going to look on my daughter's wall she's going to have like a couple of prints like i said she chose herself i let her choose stuff now she's three and a half i sort of direct her choices you know what I mean? So she bought this cute little um, fox card. I like to buy cards and frame cards. Does anyone else do that? We went to a little shop and she, I said there was like four prints. And I said to her, which one do you like? And she chose the fox because she's animal crazy. So I've got to get her another frame for that. And I think I've, I've got loads. I've got about 40 or 50 frames packed away downstairs. I've been collecting over the years. And I'm going to spray paint her some frames in sort of like neon colours to put by her bed. Because she's going to have a shadow box by her bed as well. So... That is my home haul. We obviously also bought the stubborn furniture, which you haven't looked at. That. Excellent furniture, really good quality, really easy to make. So I suggest you go and look at IKEA for that if you've got little ones, because it's lovely and it's totally movable. And but that is my home haul. If you see anything you think I would like on your travels, please do leave a comment below because I am looking for stuff and I can't wait. And can I just give a quick mention for this gorgeous clip in my hair? Excuse my roots, dreadful. Gorgeous little clip in my hair. Can you see the glitterness? This is from a company called Little and Fierce. And it's run by another bloggy mummy um, called Morgana from Buy What My Buy But Why Mummy Why. And she's her shop is awesome, honestly. I I've not been paid to say that. I literally bought this for myself because it's beautiful and I bought Addie some crits for Christmas. I will leave a link for that as well. So go check that out. And thank you for listening to this very long video.